Hello my soccer universe, another video live from the beach and I am super unprepared for it. I was so close of taking a PSG shirt or a Barca shirt or an Argentina shirt and I didn't. So it's all football outfit for me and because of the sun I'm uh, having the hat. In any case, you know what I'm talking about. The big saga regarding Lionel Messi. Uh, that hit like an atomic bomb I think everywhere and I've been watching now for a little bit I was thinking shall I do a video I decided I really gonna take a vacation for most of the time so I'm not going to review videos although I saw highlights from Austria and so on but I think I need to get my thoughts out on the messy situation uh, as unprepared as I can be just a recap I think it was on Thursday Messi returned from on, uh, Wednesday Messi returned from his vacation. It was all kind of set up. There was a contract with Barcelona in place. And then the next day we get Messi is not signing. It was right when Lask was finishing the game at Novi Sad. So then I see the message, Messi is leaving Barcelona. At that point, it was not quite clear. Is this a power play or is this true? Next day, uh, Laporta gives a press conference. He doesn't want to generate any false hope. Um, it is just because of finances that they cannot do it. And it is even so bad that even if Messi would have played for free, they couldn't have registered him. Because I think even without Messi, they still have, of all their incoming revenue, 90% or more than 90% go into wages. This is unsustainable. Absolutely. So they could not even have uh, registered Messi. What's even worse is since he was a free agent, he went bottom of the pile with registration if he was still under contract there would be no problem yes you have you have you have, you have trouble with your, uh, your salary cap in a way but you would have been able he would have still be registered and he would be a Barcelona player right now then it went so far that a player who and a club who actually want to be in relations together and even if the player went all for free that this doesn't work out that's staggering I have to say is is a level of mismanagement I cannot uh, even fathom, and I remember even thinking two years ago. I think when they, uh, yeah, two year, year, years ago, if not sooner, when they got Griezmann, I I was wondering because you know Milan always had trouble getting the big plays because of financial fair play, blah blah blah. I was thinking, and what about Barcelona? They're playing crazy sums ever since Neymar left. They, I think for players that are not even worth that they spent so much money uh, that all the money they got for Neymar was suddenly uh, more than double gone and that is a mismanagement of the previous regime that I mean that goes down in the history books I have to say so yeah uh, and even Laporta um, you know, you don't make these announcements all over there. I mean, what must he have told Messi? Then why are you trying to sign all these players like Aguero and Depay and whoever else they got? Uh, and you're shipping around for Griezmann, who I, pro, I, pro, I personally rank higher than any of these. It's Barcelona is a real, real mess. Now, the positive thing uh, before we go further with Messi is that I think Barcelona anyway needed to get a rebuild sooner or later and I think uh, this might help them to get them sooner and at the same time they are Real Madrid going through the same uh, situation you know still managing the post Ronaldo area they tried to milk the glory this a little bit but I think now with Ramos gone uh, Real Madrid also finally is at the point yeah we need to build a new squad and then Barcelona hits that reset button now more or less at the same time maybe a little bit with a delay is probably not a bad thing for them and it might keep them actually competitive in some ways in the league although um, my thought is without Messi we have seen how bad that squad looked uh, at the beginning of last season where you were really thinking yeah a fourth place might be a stretch I would at the moment even say yeah I think still Barcelona is a top four team I don't see them as a title contender or a number two team. I think three is the biggest thing that I can have. Uh, it will much depend on whether uh, Sevilla can step it up for once. Um, I think Atletico Madrid have to be considered the favorites in the league as defending champions. Yes, they were not always convincing, but 
dead squad returns more or less intact. Yes, Trippiers tri tri uh, out, but I think they bring the right players in. So I, I would say Atletico Madrid should be considered firm favorites on that one. Now, as for Messi, I mean, of course, the big question is where could, could he go? And we all knew there are only two des destinations that are uh, realistic. My favorite one was that Inter Milan uh, was among the bookmakers. And then, and then I heard a comment, I wholeheartedly agree. Inter can only get Messi if Messi buys the club. Messi buys the club from Suning and then uh, gets rid, rid of all, 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 all the debt. That was never going to happen. Man City, with all their Grealish and Kane uh, things going, going on, I think this is where they have to target. And I don't know, I mean, I, it would have been nice to work Guardiola mess, Messi again, but I think the appeal of PSG, where Messi can play with all his buddies, uh, be it Neymar, be it Paredes, be it Di Maria, that is just was just too big, big of a draw. Also, I think this shifts the me, uh, the media attention very much away from uh, La Liga to its Liga. Uh, can you imagine the star power that is ha happening now in Liga? with Messi and Neymar on there and Mbappé up front. That is the stuff the dreams are made of. I mean, if you're a PSG fan, and yes, I'm still slightly a PSG fan. I mean, this is pretty, pretty special, I have to say. Uh, kind, kind of exciting. As of now, this hasn't been announced, but all uh, things point towards it. Um, the only thing I have to say, PSG not only has those three up front, they also got Sergio Ramos and Ashraf Hakimi. And now having Sergio Ramos, we have now the Real Madrid captain and the Barcelona captain of the past two or three, three, no, three seasons, some, something like that, playing on the, on, on, on the same team. And nobody is saying anything about this. I find this a little bit odd, but on the other side, it will be uh, crazy to watch. To be honest, I expect failure from PSG because I think in the middle of the park they are not solid enough and defensively, mm, yeah, we gotta see, but it will be exciting. I think PSG will be the team with all the me media attention of, of the world around them if they really pull off this Messi heist, if you want to say nice no, or the heist. If they pull off the Messi deal and uh, all points, everything points towards doing so. So in any case, I know sad day for Barcelona fans, but I think it was inevitable to happen. The way it happened, I mean, the press conference, tear field and whatever, that was not nice, but that, it was not nice the way it happened. And I think Messi would have deserved to be a, a one-man, um, one-club career man, absolutely. That Barcelona loses their best player in this fashion just speaks of the incompetence of the management in on every level, Barcelona needs to clean up house and maybe they can now refocus on what actually made them strong 15 years ago by relying on your academy. And PSG, as I say, get your popcorn ready. It's gonna be a hell of a fun to watch. And Liga, it's huge for Liga. And that is also kind of, kind of kind of exciting that you have this star power. Yes, you would have liked to spread it around a little bit, but I think this will push the league. And I think the league is getting a little bit more competitive thanks to PSG. A little bit like in Austria, Salzburg, still very dominant, but they pull up the level of the rest of the league. And maybe something will like that happen in France for the next few years. I don't want to go in all the name uh, in the Mbappé the details and what the uh, Madrid media is now um, speculating and, and so on, but yeah. As I said, if you're a Barca fan, it is a sad day, rightfully so. If you're a PSG fan, you're probably overjoyed. I think if you're a football fan, uh, that front line, I call it already M&M's, M&M's in a way, uh, that will be something to watch. In any case, I want to hear your thoughts on the whole thing. As I said, I'm sorry I wasn't really prepared for the video in terms of churches. I hope I made up for, for, for the background. I'm not sure how much you will see of me in this video because the sun is really burning down. And before I get uh, sunburned again, I'm going to go in now. Again, give me your thoughts below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see all more videos like these. I'll be back. Uh, uh, on the weekend so I will do uh, start with review videos and all that kind of stuff then up until then I'll talk to you soon bye
I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.